Sylvia Miranda is a first grade teacher at Nikoloff Elementary School, which is part of the South Bay Union School District. This district serves 7,000 students. Just over half of them are English language learners, meaning they don't speak English at home. So when the pandemic hit in March, during a crucial stage of development, these students' language acquisition dropped off. It was a huge challenge, first of all, uh, many of them didn't, don't have internet access. You know, they're just lower, you know, low income. So internet is too expensive for many of them. Miranda handed out some hotspots for her students, but gone were the one-on-one -on -one conversations she had with them to develop their language skills. Miranda scrambled to shift online while her students and their parents grappled with the immediate shift to virtual learning. I don't think I can even count the number of hours that I had to spend just to figure out the new platform on how to do lessons online, how to download uh, videos, how to uh, do my read alouds uh, live and send them links. And it was a lot of work just to get things going. If it was challenging for me, imagine how challenging it was for my parents. After a summer of preparation, Miranda's virtual class opened today. All students in the district have been given a laptop and internet access, but many of them will be without parental assistance while in class. They, they cannot afford just to stay home like we do. They have to go and work. So our students are kind of um, sometimes on their own with um, older siblings. Miranda explains there will be virtual breakout groups for more personal instruction, along with the use of prepared videos to demonstrate concepts and individual work. But it's going to be tricky for teachers to reach these youngest students. For these language learners, any instruction time lost could reverberate with them for years. Magali Lavendez is a professor of English learner research at Loyola Marymount University. She runs a program that creates curriculums to promote equity for English language learners. She's worried about how a general drop in instruction time, which will vary district by district, will impact English language learners. That the learning loss that we fear is going to be true for all children because of the pandemic is then going to be inequitably magnified for English learner students. And she says virtual classrooms, at the end of the day, are still no substitute for in-person language instruction. Part of the exacerbation is that people are, even with the best of internet technology, are still disconnected from each other. Still, teachers and students in areas hardest hit by the pandemic, especially Latino communities, have found ways to deepen their connections. It really has emphasized, number one, what the depth and breadth of the needs of families are. While teachers are trying to be there for their students emotionally during this time, it's no replacement for the social cues that a teacher can pick up on for English language learners in the classroom. So for our youngest kids who are English learners, just imagine that the conundrum here of understanding what the teacher is trying to explain to you, she's basically right in front of you in only a box. And so when you have a box and you're talking about a thing like a ball, you don't really know what the teacher is necessarily talking about or what she's doing. You're hearing the word ball, but it, it's not making full sense as it would if you were actually doing something where the kids are playing with the ball and doing something that is a language uh, rich activity. Jorge Cuevas Antion is San Diego County's coordinator for multilingual education across multiple school districts. Even as the county has provided ready-made curriculums, support, and specific standards to teachers, he's not downplaying the challenges this year poses for teachers and their dual-language students, especially as conversations between students play such a large role in language acquisition. You can imagine that for our, our really young kids, uh, TK, uh, pre-K, kinder, it, it's really tough um, to expect the kids to be managing conversations and to easily gather all their attention back up. And everything's made all the more difficult as teachers try to battle through barriers of language, technology, and just general bureaucracy. Over the weekend, with classes set to start in just a few hours, parents and teachers in the South Bay posted in Facebook groups about the lack of class assignments, login credentials, and Zoom links, all setting up a first day of school like no other especially for students who need the attention the most. Max Erlin-Nadler, KPBS News.